This is an all-day ECG EKG recorder by Velu, which uses artificial intelligence to detect and record cardiac abnormalities which are hard to detect during a routine checkup. Guys, you're watching with Steven. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking. Here is a review smartwatches, smartphones, health monitoring devices, and much more. If you're into tech, you must consider subscribing. Everything is time-coded along the video timeline for ease of viewing. Now in terms of price, this ECG recorder is listed on getvalue.com for $295.90 US dollar. However, you will get 10% off not just on this but any product from Value's website if you were to use the discount code VIDSTUBE or simply click the link in the video description. Now it came in a box like this one. Inside the box you will find the AI ECG recorder itself, charger, chest strap, 10 piece 3M red dot ECG electrodes, a USB drive that contains the app to be used on PC or Mac to download the readings, a warranty card, and a user manual. Now the AI ECG recorder itself is very lightweight and compact. It contains two parts with the electrode attachment site. Both these parts are connected by a flexible joint. At the front, the right side is marked and highlighted. On the left side, there is an LED indicator where the flashing green light means on the standby mode, flashing yellow means low battery, continuous green light means fully charged and steady yellow light means charging. And no light obviously means battery is depleted. At the back there are few printed details with the electrode attachment and these four pins are the charging contact pin. Speaking of charging, this AI ECG recorder has a 3.7 volt DC 90 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium ion battery which can record continuously for 72 hours when fully charged and it takes about 2 to 3 hours to fully charge this device. Now in terms of specs, just pause this video to read through this spec list. Now the charger has a USB type A on one end which goes into the wall adapter that is not included or you can use a power bank or plug it into a PC to charge the device. You can also use the same cable for data transfer more to it later during the video. The clip part is robust and durable. You can't go wrong with placing the ECG recorder in charging. There is also a cutout on the top to see the LED indicator. So with all that said, let's talk about the application process. There are two ways to attach this ECG recorder on your chest. If you are using this sticky adhesive ECG electrode which already contains a gel pad, you can apply it on your chest as shown in this image with the right side electrode placed under the left side collarbone below your neck and the other side is attached on your pectoral muscle at a 45 degree angle. Try not to stick this electrode on the bone, rather place it on the fleshy part. Now if you are a guy with manly hairs like me, which by the way I'm not going to show you on this video. Try to use this chest strap instead of the adhesive electrode for more data accuracy and to save yourself from the pain while taking off the adhesive electrodes. As shown earlier, this chest strap is included inside the box. This chest strap is machine washable but make sure to detach the ECG electrode before the wash. Now the ECG recorder is very easy to attach, make sure to place the right side on your right side or else the ECG graph will be inverted. Place the chest strap as shown in this image. Now to wrap the chest strap around your chest, it's very easy and you can do it all by yourself. You just have to slide the sleeve inside this hook attachment. And it sure can be done without any help with two hands and very quickly. You can even adjust the strap length from this buckle. Now at the back of the electrode attachment, this rubber pad itself is an electrode. Now one very important point over here is you need to moisten this electrode with clean water or else the reading won't be detected instantly. Now let me go ahead and place it on my chest and show you guys the reading on the mobile vHealth app. This mobile vHealth app is available for free both on Apple App Store and Android Play Store. 
once you have activated the AI ECG recorder as prompted on the app, you'll be able to see this ER1 monitor and in a connected device list. Click on it and you will be instantly able to see the real time data under the dashboard tab. Under the setting tab, you can set the heart rate target zoom. Other settings include device update, factory reset, heartbeat sound and others. Under history, you'll find the recorded data. However, this data is not the AI ECG data as it can only be accessed from the PC or mobile application. This data is that you can manually record from the dashboard when you press this record button. So for this AI ECG recorder, this mobile app is just to see the real time data and record a short 30 minute ECG recording on the mobile app. Now let me show you how to access the data from a PC or a Mac. For this video purpose, I'll connect this AI ECG recorder to my Acer laptop. You will need this ECG browser app to access and read all the collected data. You can either install this ECG browser app from the included USB flash drive or you can go on getvalue.com under PC software downloads you will find the ECG browser version 1.1.0. Once installed when you open the app you will need to create an account with the app. I have already done that so now you can attach the charger into the USB port of your laptop or Mac and you should see the ECG recorder connected. Now the app is fairly basic to use. On the top right you can access your account. On the left panel you will see all the users. Now you can create a new user when you click on the download data button on the top right or you can select the existing user. Once you hit confirm the data will be downloaded. This ECG recorder can store up to 10 recordings of 30 hours in total after which the device will erase the previous recording automatically to store the new one. So a word of advice is to connect the ECG recorder to back up the data after every single day. Also a single recording cannot exceed 24 hours which is quite surprising as you can record a whole day worth of ECG data. I recently reviewed their Pulsebeat EX ECG recorder which will cost 119 US dollar but you can't record 24 hour data and there is no AI to interpret the collected data. If you want to learn more about this device then check out the video linked at the end of this video. Another main difference between this AI ECG recorder and the strap free heart rate monitor which also can record ECG but not for 24 hours and will cost only 69 US dollar is that the strap free monitor does not have the AI ECG analysis which can record and screen up to 14 different kind of abnormal ECG events and hence the price of this AI ECG recorder in my opinion is justified. To get a recording analyzed, you have to select that recording and click analyze which will submit this recording to the AI analyzer which would take about 30 minutes after which the status will change to analyzed and when you click on the view ECG you can check the ECG recording which is amazing as if you go on any smartwatch like Apple Watch Series 7 it will only record a 30 second ECG but with this you can literally get entire 24 hour worth of ECG data which is almost 316 pages for just 6 hours test measurement. You can export this entire ECG recording to a PDF file or print it for your doctor to have a look. And the coolest part is on the left side panel, you can literally go to a specific finding. In my case, there was a couplet of PAC that is premature atrial complex and I can directly go to that specific segment which is pretty nifty. PVC is premature ventricular complex, bigemini, trigemini is basically every other and every third beat is a PVC. All these are medical jargons and for a non-medical person it's better to talk to your doctor. Something of concern would be ventricular trachycardia. For more than few seconds this can be life threatening. The AI analysis also checks the atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter which is associated with coronary artery and heart rhythm and also detects supraventricular trachycardia which is a group of abnormally fast heart rhythms. 
Now, when you click on the view ECG report, it opens up a PDF file without the graph, which contains all the required details like the maximum, minimum, and average heart rate. The report is also well organized with supraventricular rhythm, which basically involves all the premature atrial complexes, ventricular rhythm that includes all the premature ventricular complexes along with the VTEC, and HRV that is heart rate variability. Next page is conclusion, after which it's the hourly statistical ECG data and the individual recording of the abnormalities. In my case, it's the ECG recording when my maximum and minimum heart rate were recorded, as well as the recording of those couplet of PAC. Being a registered physiotherapist myself and with my knowledge of cardiology and putting this device to a test with all these readings, I have seen that for most part this device does what it is intended for. Certainly this cannot substitute a diagnosis from a medical doctor and this device is not a 12 lead ECG, but it can be an adjunct and a good resource. So here are my final thoughts. For $295, this is a great device. It's super easy to use, very comfortable chest strap. It comes with all that you need to get started like the ECG electrode, chest strap, and even a free PC and a mobile app. It's very easy to set up and the mobile as well as the PC app is very versatile with multiple ways to export the reading. The AI analysis is very robust and saves you time by going through the entire 24 hour long ECG data. And more importantly, it can pinpoint the finding on the graph. So your doctor does not have to go through the entire graph. And if you don't wanna go through the whole graph, it even provides you with a comprehensive ECG report that includes all the parameters. With all that said, this is it with this episode. I really hope you found this video helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss out any upcoming videos. Also check out these videos as you may find them enticing.